Hello my viewers, good day, good to you all, wherever you are in the world. This is um, Babao Kiki, reaching you live from United Kingdom. Um, I just want to talk about um, this Mubad shenanigan. I mean, may his soul rest in perfect peace. We always say that, I mean, but this is a young star, you know, that, that just passed away. And it's been two, three, mo three months running now that they've really... In an exhumed body and um, doing the autopsy. I don't know, I mean, what kind of autopsy they're actually doing because, I mean, as a young man, you shouldn't really stay long in the mortuary. If it's an older fellow, then we can understand that, okay, yes, but as a young fellow, his soul, his soul will just be wandering around and around. That's why many people in the world they keep on seeing him here and there because it's an untimely death completely on timely debt. So there's no point keeping him too long in the mortuary. I mean, all they need for autopsy is just to observe the body, you know, and take um, tissue samples and all that and test it and examine it. So if he was poisoned, if he was stabbed, if, and to detect the cause of death. I don't think that should actually last that much age, really, that, than holding back. And his name will not even help him you know, knowing the who really killed him or when did he die and stuff like that. So we are just living on speculations and it doesn't really help. And more so, if he's not buried, his soul cannot really rest in peace. Because that's why people are seeing him, he's appearing to them, even to the extent some even think maybe he's still alive somewhere. So but at least if he's committed to the ground, you know, ashes for ashes, you know, sound for sound and all that then his soul can rest in peace. His family can actually, you know, have time to mourn. His father can actually go and pay respect. And all the fans worldwide, you know, I mean, you can be able to know that this is where um, uh, Imola is buried. Then they can actually go and pay respect to him. And if you, if you just flash back to like two months ago, people are rallying around them. They're all rallying and lighting candles and stuff like that and in support of you know finding the cause of death for Mubad. But the crowd has really dwindling now as you can see and you don't want it to be a situation where people won't be able to turn up that much for the actual barrier. Now that would really be a shame. So and what's actually holding it now is just the autopsy coming out. I mean I don't know what they're hiding. I don't even know. What bloody thing they actually hide and why they didn't already bring out the autopsy because if not that they were trying to do some dodgy business, you know. Definitely they're supposed to have brought out the the, the, the autopsy result and released the body for befitting barrier that he actually deserved. So mobile uh, mobile soul can actually rest in peace and we can we can carry on with the case because I know because of all the powerful people involved in all this um, case and everything they Going to be dragging it backward and forward and adjoining the cave. You didn't say they shouldn't continue doing their case, but let's bury him about. Let's bury him. Then the soul can rest in peace and everybody can actually move on. And that's my take for now on um, the, 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 the autopsy result and the bury. I mean, the major thing, the major cry now is whoever is the power that be concerning releasing the body, let them wrap up what they're doing and release the body for burial so that everybody can start moving on and healing as case may be. Thank you very much. Please leave your comment down below if you haven't uh, you know, justice for Mobad, justice for Mobad, and that's our cry. That justice will pray there's justice for Mobad. And um please leave your comment down below. I mean and share this video. Thank you very much.